Good morning, Kentucky. Welcome to this ABC 36 News update. Here's what's making news now. Police make an arrest after having to taser a man in downtown Lexington overnight. It happened around 3 on Ohio Street near East 3rd. Police said they tried to question a man about a burglary in the area when he took off running. They chased him to a backyard of a nearby home and ended up tasering him. He has been identified as 31-year-old Antonio Winkfield. He's now charged with fleeing and evading. He also had an outstanding burglary warrant. Dive team search upon in Casey County after a man mysteriously goes missing. 55-year-old Charles Randolph has not been seen since October 15th. His family says he left behind his pickup truck, his dog, and his heart medicine. Yesterday, crews searched upon near his home, but it turned up nothing. His family is offering a $2,000 reward. If you have information on the whereabouts of Charles Randolph, please call police. Two girls are recovering this morning after being hit by a truck in Lexington overnight. It happened at 7th and Tennessee near Winchester Road. Police say the driver of a Toyota truck was driving through an intersection when four girls were crossing the road. Two of those girls were hit. They were taken to the hospital with minor injuries. Police say the driver of the truck will not be charged. A coal forum is set for today on the UK campus just a week after the university announces a controversial plan to rename the new dorm for the men's basketball team. Today's forum will be on coal's impact in the state. Last week, students were escorted by police from a meeting on campus where officials announced the UK basketball dorm would now be known as Wildcat Coal Lodge after a $7 million donation from the coal industry. The vote was 16 to 3 in favor of the name, but students were upset they weren't allowed to voice their opinions. Now, early yesterday morning, a group calling themselves the Midnight Activists placed several banners around campus illustrating what they call the corporization of campus. For example, a banner reading you're at here was hung at Memorial Hall. Another hung at the main building, Red Ball Homes Building. Today's cold forum is going to last all day. It gets underway at 10 this morning at the Hillary J. Boone Center. It is free and open to the public. The Richmond City Commission is set to meet today to discuss ways to ease that city's massive deficit. Richmond facing a deficit of about $2.7 million this year. There are fears that layoffs to city workers are inevitable. However, officials vow not to cut public safety employees. Richmond has already had to tighten its belt. The city recently cut departments, uh, de department budgets by 5%. Today's meeting is set for three at City Hall. And it is a Christmas tree, not a holiday tree. That is the word from the governor's office. Last week, a statement referred to the tree as a holiday tree, causing criticism. But yesterday, the governor spokespeople said it's been always a Christmas tree to him. There's a lighting ceremony on the 30th. That is your update. Have a great day.